So you see, the reason we are in the infinite way is that we may rise above the human mind's level and attain some measure of that mind which was in Christ Jesus. And then we have those ways that have been revealed to us in this message of attaining it. And already I have shown you part of that way of attaining it. First of all, by making you a decision. Am I going or do I want to continue to judge of my life by what my heart tells me or my pocketbook tells me or my birthday tells me? Do I want to judge by appearances or do I want to find the kingdom of God that is within me and live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God? And that's the beginning. Then the ability each day not to judge of your own limitations and say it isn't enough or I haven't enough but to say whatever amount I have I will draw upon. You will soon discover that already even if this were your first day in spiritual living you would find that you have infinity. Now, right now, in your first day, you will discover that you have infinity. Why? Because you have nothing of yourself. And you have all that is God's. When the Father says, Son, thou art ever with me, all that I have is thine, he isn't talking just to James or William or Robert or Mary or Sue. When the Father says, Son, thou art ever with me and all that I have in mine, he is talking to every individual in the entire globe. Those who have passed on, those who are here, and those who are not yet born. No one can escape from God's infinite allness. Paul gave us that in one statement. Neither life nor death can separate me from the love of God, the care of God, the infinite supply of God. So all those who have gone on before us have the infinite allness of God. And those not yet born will have the infinite allness of God when they arrive here. You may say that we are not demonstrating it. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, our parents didn't teach us this when we were born, and they should have. Too bad they didn't know it. It's also too bad that Jesus didn't know about airplanes in his day. He could have covered a bigger territory in spreading the gospel of truth. As it was, he was limited to the distance he could walk. And so it has taken a long time for his word to reach way out around the world. But just remember, he could have had an airplane. The laws were already there. God didn't invent the airplane in this generation. The laws of the airplane always existed awaiting man's knowledge. And so it is, the infinite abundance of God has always been in every individual who ever existed. But he couldn't demonstrate it until someone could come along and reveal to him, within you is the kingdom of God. Within you is all that the Father hath. All of the music is there, all of the art, all of the literature, all of the spiritual truth, all of the inventions, all of the sciences. All is within you, but now that you know it, you must begin to open out a way for the imprisoned splendor to escape. That wonderful poet told us, 
Truth is within ourselves. Truth, which is bread. Truth, which is meat. Truth, which is wine. Truth, which is water. Is not to be found outside, but is within ourselves. And we must open out a way for the imprisoned splendor to escape. Son, all that I have is thine. Now begin to pour. And there is no finer way to begin to pour than to begin to set aside periods each day to pray for those whom you know need prayers within your family, within your community, eventually within your nation, later on within the entire world. Begin to pray the prayer of forgiveness. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Release everyone from condemnation, from punishment. Pray the prayer of forgiveness. Then know every bit of spiritual truth you can about all of those who are within your consciousness. Know that the voice is saying to them too, Son, all that I have is thine. Know this too, that neither life nor death can separate us from the love of God and the care of God. Then you are giving, you are sharing out of that infinite storehouse you are pouring out the water of life even without a bucket. And you will find that you are developing more and more of that spiritual or fourth dimensional, that transcendental consciousness. Now, in this message of the infinite way, we have many ways that have been revealed to me and that are incorporated in our writings, how further to attain this consciousness. And to those making a real study of it, we start with the book Living the Infinite Way. Living the Infinite Way. In this book, we find certain of these principles of which I've told you, and some which I will not have the time to tell you. But they are there in this book, Living the Infinite Way. Then we follow this with the book, Practicing the Presence of God. And I'll tell you why in a moment. After that book comes The Art of Meditation. Now let me show you why. Meditation is not easy. In fact, I will go so far as to say meditation is very difficult for those who have not attained the ability to meditate because meditation really is attaining an inner stillness so that you don't have to think thoughts. You can hear the voice of God. You can hear those words of truth that pour forth from within you. You do not address God, you hear God. You receive impressions within. And uh, to many people, this is not simple. And so it was revealed to me, and practice has proven that this is true, that if we begin with practicing the presence of God, it leads to an inner stillness that makes it possible to meditate. So we take this book first, Practicing the Presence of God, and we begin to practice the presence. How? Something like this. The very moment that our eyes awaken from sleep, before we are out of bed, we must pause for a moment to remember that this is God's day. God gave us this day. We didn't. We just wake, wake up and found it already here. But the process of turning night into day is God's. Therefore, 
This day upon which we are awaking is God's day. And God is in this day. And God is in everyone on this earth or off this earth. For God is everywhere. God fills all space. God governs this day. God governs every individual in this day. God governs the circumstance of life in this day. In other words, with our waking thought, we acknowledge the presence of God, the activity of God, the government of God, the love of God. 